Alrighty, gang. Ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. Steve Alfrentia is the final map. The winner of the last game, Blood Rain, playing as the Eldar Farseer. Warp Spider Exarch was, thank God, vetoed. And Guru Skippy, playing as the Demon Hunter of the Order Malice. So I know someone uh, earlier on was asking if we'd see Auto Malice today, and indeed we will. Despite the fact I genuinely believe Auto Malice versus Eldar might be one of the stupidest matchups. Although I guess the slow from Demon Hunter might be able to uh, might be able to deal with it. We see the Strike Squad and the Demon Hunter heading down to the southwest of the map. Nope, they're aggressing onto the ac onto the power. Actually, they must have not just caught sight of those Guardians. ISTs are in the mid, and is this going to be a double? What do you spend your Skippy? Oh, Skippy bought power. Okay, Skippy bought power rather than a second squad. Usually, you see a uh, double ISTs before you see a second gen. Decent position here for the ISTs to fight in, but. Guardians will take up an equally decent position, and then this just becomes a wet noodling contest. Uh, this heavy cover will uh, provide almost complete damage mitigation against the Guardians and the uh, ISTs. Strike Squad, however, on the retreat path, claiming two Guardians, uh, three Guardians, and this game has started in a very similar way to how the last one did for uh, Blood Rain, with massive Guardian casualties. The Strike Squad have done good work here, working down this node. And Inquisitorial operatives are coming out onto the field for Guru Skippy. These are shotgun-wielding specialists with multiple grenade options. They can upgrade to a fallback plan, which enables them to break their own retreat and drop a flashbang when they retreat, which covers their retreat quite nicely, assuming ranged units are in melee with them. Strange ability. And here we see the uh, Warp Rift, or... Imperial Tear, I can't remember what it's called. The slow field from the uh, Demon Hunter has an obscene range, but must be channeled. Creates a uh, slowing field that affects all enemy units. And the operatives are immediately going to find the Guardian weapon team. And begin shotgunning them. The Farseer moving in to uh, disrupt them. And... Uh, with no detector out on the field just yet, these uh, operatives will go mostly uncontested. And here is the second IST squad that we were expecting earlier. Good early game from Skippy so far. He's pressured the power, he defended his own power, and caused some bleed onto the other. These IST out of cover. That was the uh, smoke grenade from the uh, Inquisitorial operatives there, not the incendiary. <laughs> it's okay, Piano. It's okay. Auto Malice are OP. Everyone says so. Enough for more Adila Plus. It does feel like the uh, key to good Auto Malice play is the use of the operatives, particularly in the Eldar matchup, matchup against Tyranids. You you have to have. Some. Very good operative play to, to succeed as Auto Malice, it feels like, in high-level 1v1s. No more just double strike squad, double banishment. Or the, what was it, triple purgations at one stage? People used to like doing. Banshee's taking tremendous damage here against the Demon Hunter. This is, uh... Well, they're lucky to still have four models on the field, actually. Rangers coming up now for Blood Rune. A detector unit against the operatives. You do need it, otherwise they're just going to uh, sneak about. Be irritating. Energy burst there from the strike squad, restoring the energy of the, of the uh, operatives. He cancelled their retreat with the fallback plan. ISTs and strike squad looking to defend the power whilst the operatives flank. Operatives looking to get an angle onto the guardian weapon team. Not able to do so, instead focusing the guardians. Now they'll be interrupted by the Farsia. No war gear on this lady yet. Let's see, do they have energy to break their retreat, or are they just going to go back to base and heal up? They're probably just going to go back to base and heal up. 
Guardians taking damage from the Strike Squad and the uh, ISTs. Rangers have now been scouted, getting their Pathfinder gear, taking quite a lot of damage actually on the retreat. And the Eldar slowly bashing power. This uh, position from the Shuriken Catapult, not ideal. Yep, and he's realized the problem. Moving back to flank, to cover the flank, sorry, and prevent this uh, engagement. IST's moving in. Here's the grenade launcher, knocking back and disrupting the Guardian weapon platform. Demon Hunter now we're able to move into melee. Strike Squad, not with their Tomes of Titan, laying down a banishment onto the Banshees. And despite getting special down, able to win the fight. Operatives detected by rangers, not able to uh, infiltrate, but are able to force the rangers back. Guru Skippy looking for tier 2 most likely. ISTs having a decent fight here against Guardians, killing one of them and decapping. The map is almost completely red. The Farseer's Webway Gate does provide infiltration, but the operatives are able to see through it. Operatives dropping their flashbang and getting the hell out of there. Huge amounts of resources for Skippy, very little resources for Blood Rain and Tier 2 without it even being in a realistic prospect for Blood Rain at this point. Farseer engaged by Strike Squad. Straight away retreating. The slow there, preventing the engagement of the Banshees. Demon Hunter being used well. He has his armor of fortitude now. And his, that gives him the uh, ability to use Indomitable on allies, which puts them in a stasis. Not, not allies. On enemies. You don't want to put your own allies in stasis. No, no, no. Triple cap. Massive victory point lead for the Auto Malice. Blood Rain's last ditch effort really is to bash power here. But this is uh, looking like a big, big problem for for Blood Rain at this point. ISTs will slowly, slowly take out this generator. Guardians are in position to repel, but not fighting. The Strike Squad engage, kill one of the crewmates for the Guardian weapon team. Knocked back by the Kinetic Blast, but it's not enough to completely dissuade the engage and... The entire Eldar Warhost has to leave. The ISTs managed to get the, the uh, generator down to about 50% before Guardians moved in. Grenade, fuseless, but dodged nicely by retreat. And now the Grey Knights are all here in force and should be able to finish off these generators. Tier 2 is finished and a Rhino is coming out. Still a long way off Tier 2 for Blood Rain. At least, at least 20 seconds before you can even start it. And then the upgrade time. Meanwhile, the Rhino on the field. ISTs forced out. Kinetic Blast knocked them down. The damage from the Guardians was enough to see them off. Strike Squad are here to support. And we see the Demon Hunter from half the map away channeling his slow. The Strike Squad are in range stance. Not engaging in melee with the Banshees. And we have Vindicare Sniper now on the field. The Rhino not going for a turret upgrade as things stand, waiting to see. Does he realize how far behind Blood Rain's tech is? He must, surely. Holding off on the uh, upgrade to make sure he can get either the Heavy Bolter to counter the infantry or a LAS Cannon to counter any vehicles from the Eldar. Loading up into the uh, Rhino are... Uh, at least one squad of IST, two squads of IST actually, and the Vindicare Assassin. Vindicare Assassin, two squads of Stormtroopers loaded up into the Rhino, and they're going for a drive. And out they come, setting up onto these Guardians, who have a decent position in cover. Probably would have liked to have seen uh, the flank used a little bit more, but good damage inflicted, two models lost. And the Guardians are forced into a retreat. The Stormtroopers now get to capping. Strike Squad and Stormtroopers down here. 
But Skippy has lost his entire power farm to a Guardian Weapon Team. And uh, now Blood Rain is into Tier 2. And has actually uh, a better economy at this stage. Much better economy. Swings and roundabouts, I guess. Strike Squad have purchased their Jester car. We uh, do not have Acolyte... Uh, there's one Acolyte leader actually up for Inquisitorial Stormtroopers. This first squad does not have it. Vindicare Assassin does not have his um, his armor. The Bright Lance Guardian team disrupted by the incendiary grenade of the operatives. Flanked by the Rhino who just drove through it. Took a lot of damage for the, pl pl uh, for the privilege. But the Devil Cap is back. Triple cap shortly. What unit can Blood Rain go for here that will uh, sort out this little problem? Banshees and Guardians moving on to the north east side of the map to take that wreck point, to take that victory point. Double cap still. Victory point pressure is tremendous onto Blood Rain. Has to break out somehow. Could it be the Falcon? Falcon will be immediately countered by the last cannon of the Rhino. Wraith Lord to a similar situation. IST is taking a lot of damage here, but taking a decent fight without the suppression of the Guardian weapon platform. The infantry army of the Eldar cannot contest the infantry of the, of the Ordo Malus. Strike Squad chasing into base might be a little ambitious. They may lose a, uh, a squad member here to the fast here, but nope, no such luck. Vindicare Assassin, in the meantime, shooting at Banshees, picks off a couple of them. The Stormtroopers are here to help as well with this Guardian situation. And heading for the Triple Cap is Guru Skippy. It will be a Falcon coming out from Blood Rain. Good patience here from Skippy, not taking the immediate upgrade of the Heavy Bolter Rhino. And waiting it out, waiting it out, so he already has... The oven ready counter. Let's see, when does he see it? Does it even matter? Will he even bother? It will be another double cap. He does see it. Let's have a look. Will he even bother to upgrade it? Let's have a look, see. I believe he will. Yeah, here it comes. The Laz Cannon Rhino about to be on the field. Oh, what do we have here? The Force Rod. Which is a uh, big melee weapon for the Demon Hunter. And uh, interested to see the Retribution ability. Rhino heading back to base. Going to come out with a Laz Cannon, Twin Linked, attached on the hull. And that will force away the Falcon. Oof, that was somehow a rear armor hit. Rhino giving chase. Now the problem with the vehicles in Dawn of War is you, if they're moving, they will just target random things. So you have to move them in small increments. Move them up, target the vehicle. Move them up, target the vehicle. Full retreat again from the Eldar. Double cap surely to be reinstated. Oh, never mind. These guardians are going to decap up here. There is a webway gate down on the southern victory point. Middle victory point will be taken by IST. Southern victory point attacked by strike squad. But with the entire Eldar army in base, they can just hop into the webway and jump out here and prevent this cap. Which is probably what's going to happen. Yeah, Banshees. Banshees are down here through the webway. Skippy, don't lose focus. Don't lose focus. Don't forget that you have a strike squad, sir. He may have forgotten that he has a strike squad, and he won't have a strike squad for much longer. Down it goes. His focus was clearly on the north side of the map. A double cap will finish this game. All he has to do is not lose his entire army again. Vindicare Assassin, taking a lot of damage from the... Uh, 
from the Falcon. Kinetic Blast knocks him down as he was switching to the Turbo Penetrator Reds. Banshees might kill him in retreat. One more hit. Oh my god, that was close. Managed to reach maximum retreat speed just before the Banshees got in there. The last Cannon Rhino will see off the Falcon here. Goodbye, Sweet Prince. And the double cap shortly to be uh, to be in place. A good grenade here forces away the IST. And they will... Uh, it will be a short-lived double cap. Blood Rain fighting Tooth and Claw to stay in this. The Rangers can't stay here though, so the IST will be straight back onto the victory point. Demon Hunter moving in. We have the Doombringer now, and that's what this ability you see on the uh, Demon Hunter is the Doom ability, which increases the uh, damage the target takes by 30%. Operatives have their sergeant now, shotgunning the uh, Farseer. Don't want to be fighting the Farseer in melee, but the double cap. Alleviated by Guardians on the north, holy moly. Blood Rain is really playing the Webway game very well here, with the Webway just coming in at the top. Tier 3 is the choice from Guru Skippy. Blood Rain not in any kind of state to go up to Tier 3. The last cannon from the Rhino, if it hits a Guardian, will do a lot of damage. Chance of it hitting a Guardian, very limited. ISTs, grenading back Guardians, moving up into cover. The Guardians have their Warlock leader. Let's see. And the grenade was dodged nicely with the Acolyte ability, which prevents all damage taken by the squad, who's obviously just waiting that out. Banshees and Rangers moving up from the south, moving into the mid. The Rhino should see off these Guardians. Melee now initiated by the uh, Inquisitorial Stormtroopers, looking to take back this northern victory point. And it is, in fact, a double cap for Blood Rune. <laughs> ah, Piano. Piano's going to tear his hair out. He's going to be a bold man by the end of this game. Yep. Dreadnought would end the game. What's the choice in tier 3? Maybe a Vortima? Vortima would probably also end the game. Grey Knight Terminators, perhaps? The Banshee's moving in on the operatives. Hacking and slashing, one of them does die. Vindicare Assassin still on the field. These stormtroopers have gone kind of weird. Their cohesion's all messed up. Bright Lance taking a lot of damage. And it goes down to the sniper uh, rifle of the Vindicare Assassin, who now has his Camellia Lion stealth suit. But a double cap now. Victory points ticking down in favor of Blood Rain, who holds. 12 of them. 12 plays 324. Skippy has dropped in Crusaders. A uh, interesting unit, unique to the Demon Hunter. Melee infantry can get an Acolyte leader with a giant chainsaw. These guys, whenever they take uh, dam casualties in combat, gain a frenzy buff, similar to the, uh, to the Orc Knobs. And here we'll see them up against the uh, Banshees. Very tanky unit. Operatives should probably be capping at this point, but too busy microing. We see Doom used from the Farseer onto the uh, Crusaders, but no uh, no target fire. And uh, the Acolyte Leader just busy chainsawing Guardians to death, as you do. Let's see what's going on down here. They did take out the... Uh, oh, I missed an Autark call in. That was good. The Autark does disrupt the cap on the south, but the Webway Gate is taken out. Webway Gate on the north will be taken out, and the cap will be taken by the Demon Hunter. Rest of the units need to get the hell out of here and hold the mid now. ISTs wiped. Both ISTs wiped during the fight that I wasn't watching. So uh, we are seeing a bit of a replay here. Apologies, I accidentally just punched myself in the face, as you do. Vindicare Assassin is infiltrated here, but the Rangers will spot him out. The infiltrated Bright Lance... Not going to uh, do all that much against him. But big uh, military uh, advantage, at least in terms of supply. 
Here come the uh, Crusaders versus the Banshees. These are leveled up Banshees and they will do reasonably well here. But as the Crusaders start dropping models, they will get a Frenzy buff. And uh, three models down, so this is a big buff now on the remaining models. Reinforcing from the Rhino are the Crusaders. Uh, Crusaders do in fact wipe, however, against the Banshees. Uh, Vindicare Assassin goes down. Oh my god, Skippy, please. Not like this. Five victory points. There's not enough time. He's going to win five victory points. It's fine. We're oh, God. Jesus Christ. All right. 2-1 in favor of Guru Skippy, despite the fact that in Tier 2 and the mid-game, Guru Skippy loves, loves throwing away his entire army. Christ. All right. Let's see what we got 